Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Art Whisper 88. Now this is my monster monoprint, which I had done some time ago. This is uh, done with an 18 by 24 gel plate, which is the largest size to date. And here is the first one. Here's the second one done with a color shaper. And here's the third one. Now the reason why I'm showing you these is I want to place another layer of metallics on top of them. And I know that they are okay as an image, but I want to push the envelope even further and uh, make an okay print into a spectacular print. Or considering the season, a spooktacular print. So anyway, I will start arranging my reusable stencils on the plate and get rolling. So I have here my reusable stencils. Now after a while they tend to warp. So what I will do is kind of just release the tension here by cutting some slits and that will help it to lay flat. Now, I do, I have to admit, I have more fun working on a larger format because this space allows me to place more things in it. Okay. So the first thing I will do is place another layer on top of this black and green. I will use some 
bronze. And this is by Ur Soho Urban Artist Acrylic. Let me just Now, naturally, since this is a larger plate, it takes up more paint. I will be using my four inch brayer. And I'm working on the open areas of the stencil. I'm trying to get it to be as even as possible. It may not be a hundred percent, but doing the best I can. Hopefully it will make some difference. Okay, now since these stencils are colored, they're much easier to spot. So hopefully I won't forget to take them out. So this is the first print and hopefully the bronze is going to make a little difference, make it a little more spectacular. Ok, 
Okay, I'm applying a firm pressure with my hand and I will leave this on for about five minutes. Well, there's a little bit of misregistration, but it's okay. I think it does make a difference. The shine of the metallic really changes the print. Check that out. It gives it a little bit of a richer finish, especially when you move the print left to right. You can see the shine of the metallic paint. Now I may have to scoot the plate a little this way. But I'm very pleased with the result. Okay, on to the next one. Okay, this time I will use, I will use gold.
Now this gold has a much brighter shine compared to the bronze, which has more of a reddish brown. This is more like a bright yellow. Now oftentimes the leftover dried paint will transfer to the plate from the stencil, but that's okay. It's not going to print because it's dry. It's only the wet paint that will transfer. this works with this Again, I will leave this for five minutes because I want the paper to absorb the paint as much as possible.
Oh, I like the effect of this. Here, I forgot another stencil. I like that. Very cool. Okay, on to the last one. Okay. I will try this. This is pearl green. Oh, it looks white in the tube, but I think when it dries, it will be like an iridescent, an iridescent. Uh, greenish color. We'll see how it works out. Now these iridescent colors seem to be a little more watery. They're a little looser in consistency. So they spread out very thinly, which is okay. I think that's how they have this transparent uh, veil-like effect, which I like very much.
Okay, let's try this one. Now this one's already a uh, metallic. This is copper, but I think the pearlescent green will give it some contrast. it for five minutes switch on the fan and keep my fingers crossed okay this is the exciting part Oh, I like this. It really turned out greenish. I could call this a green ghost. Very spooky. Sometimes it looks light blue, sometimes it looks white, depending on the angle of the print. So I will air dry this and recap with all three monster prints. couldn't resist. I didn't want to waste this last leftover of the iridescent green. Okay, let's see how we did. Not much of a difference. It's very subtle. There is some green here and there, but not too much. It was worth a try. I like it though. You can still see gl glimmers of the iridescent green. It makes it a very, very complex image. Okay, it was worth a try. 
Okay, everybody, here we are at the last leg of this journey. Let me show you a close up. This is the first print. I like it. It's, it has a nice gold leaf effect to it. Again, the metallic gold has this kind of mesh effect. And I think it interacts very well with the deep green and black. It transforms the print. It makes it a little more lively. So that is the first print. Here's number two. Now this one is a little more complex because the uh, values are regular. But the more you look at it, you discover all these little subtle differences especially with the addition of the slight touches of iridescent green. That is a second print, and here's the last one. Now this is the one with the most contrast. And there you have it. The three monster prints meet metallics. I hope you like this video. This was a really fun project for me. Um, because like all the other experiments, I don't really know what the outcome is going to be. And that's what makes it more fun. And uh, thankfully that in this case, I'm pleased with the result. And I hope you are too. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing please pay a visit to artwhisper88.com, which is my storefront. And the sales of these pieces help to keep this channel going. Thank you, and I hope to see you next time.